Oh, hello guys, welcome back for my next episode of the Solo Farm Guide series. This time we take a look at the Drake Kabob farm. Uh, now if you are wondering what Drake Kabobs are, uh, they are just pecans, uh, mostly used in speed clears, uh, which grants you plus 5 armor for 10 minutes, and they are dropped as a chunk of Drake flash from the Iron Tooth Drakes. Uh, mostly on the noob island in nightfall and you can change the drake flash and turn them into drake kabobs uh, in kamadan okay let's focus a bit on the drops and profession and uh, the difficulty on this farm is easy any profession can do this possible drops are obviously the chunks of drake flash you get two per run on average and sometimes you get uh, valuable runes like Windwalkers or Sight Mastery. Uh, the possible profit is really depends on how much you can sell the Drake Kabobs for in Kamadan. Um, I've been checking the prices and usually they go between 40 and 60 Ectos uh, for a full stack. Actually I was able to sell for 100 a couple months ago, but it, it really depends on your patience and on your luck. And, and Dervish is the, the preferred profession because it has the maximum moving speed and uh, it can just spike the enemies with, with one attack basically. Okay, let me show you guys the build, the runes, equipment, weapons and all this stuff. First of all we have you move like, like a dwarf, which I found useful to interrupt uh, the fanged Iboga's Imagine Burden, which can really slow you down. There might be a way to run past them, but I think it's easier to just interrupt and just move on. Next one is Sand Shards, it deals massive damage if you hit three enemies. Then we have our Elite, which is Wolf Strength, it also deals nice damage. Skill number 4 is Mystic Regeneration just to survive the battle then we have intimidating aura to have more hp and some damage reduction and to make the run as quick as possible you need zealous renewal as a feed enchantment for pious haste and dwarf and stability to make the stance last longer okay the attributes are 16 earth sprayers 13 mysticism Drones are earth sprayers plus one plus three on the head, uh, five wind walkers, insignias, um, a minor mysticism, and the best vig vigor rune you can afford. The drakes are just level 10 and have only a few warrior skills, and uh, they can knock you down if you move, but uh, besides that, they don't mean a big threat. Ok guys, like I said the farm is quite easy, but uh, bowling and placement is important. So if you want quick runs you should avo avoid this formation and try to hit uh, all the drakes at once. This way you can spike them down with just one attack. And another thing is the Feng Diboga at the beginning of the, of the area. Uh, it has Imagine Burden and if you, if you do the interrupting slowly it can make your life harder. Okay, so guys, since the run is very short, around two and a half minutes, I can show you a full one. Uh, so you should be starting from Kadlanu Hamlet, and uh, Metani Keys is the area where we want to farm. First of all, uh, Dwarf and Stability, Zealous Renewal, then remove it uh, with Pious Haste. This way you can have 50% uh, IMS all the time. You should be avoiding the, the frigate scales because they can uh, slow you down with water magic skills. And you can use mystic regen or intimidating aura if your HP gets low. And this group is probably the, the biggest threat during the whole run. Uh, if you time, uh, you move like a dwarf perfectly then you can interrupt the mesmer and just run through, run past this group and you won't have any troubles. There are four groups of drakes in this area. One group consists of three or four drakes, 
And uh, yeah, on usually you should get at least two Drake uh, Flash. I think my max was four or six. And yeah, just use Sand Shards, Wolf, uh, Wolf Strength and uh, finish them with Zealous Renewal. Once the group is dead, move to the next one and just really focus on your time and don't stop, don't uh, don't farm the, the smaller or the other groups, the Corsairs or the Scales. Anyway, there, there is a hidden treasure chest here, you can open it, I think once every 30, uh, 30 days. And uh, it gives a purple or gold item and some gold pieces. Yeah, so two groups down, two more left. Uh, you should just be following the, the same route as I'm doing now. So this is this is a very quick thing. You can just relax here if you want. The, this scenery is very nice. It's like a beach. And yeah, now I made a mistake and uh, I couldn't kill them with one hit, but two. And now comes the last group. Sometimes the these two scale groups get closer to each other, then I can make a, a turn and get behind them from uh, from from the other part of the map. Yeah, and this is the last group. Just mold them like you did before. And once you have finished your run, just type uh, resign and restart the farm. Guys, don't worry if you don't have a dervish because the Ritu and the Elementalists are two very powerful alternatives. The Ritu can kill them quickly with uh, Destructive Osglaive and Ancestor's Rage. And the Drakes has a, a smaller armor against el elemental damage. So what these two professions lack in speed, they get back on the damage. The elemental is, uh, is basically fire ele with star burst and flame burst. And it has a dash and worth and stability just like the Ritu. And uh, Shroud of Distress is just to survive the battle and the runs, give some block and HP regen. So guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the vid, please give it a thumbs up or share it. Uh, I appreciate all the comments, all the questions. See you in the next one.